Hello everyone. I am Dr. Raji Parmania. I am a pediatric neurologist at B. L. Kapoor Super Speciality Hospital, New Delhi. Welcome to B. L. K. Pediatric Practice. Today we will be discussing about classification of seizure types. In 2017, International League Against Epilepsy has given a new classification system for seizure types. It is an operational classification system based on the practical considerations, and it is specially used for the clinical purpose. For the clinicians to have a uniformity of the use of terms for seizure types. Also, it can be used uniformly for research purpose and for the teaching purpose. It gives a guide. It gives an idea that what particular kind of epilepsy syndrome is there in a child, and it also guides us for the proper use of anti-seizure medication. So, knowing the right seizure type in a child. is very important and that is how there is the importance of knowing this new classification system the basic version will be discussing it first the first and the foremost thing is to decide which type of seizure type it is whether it is a focal generalized or a known onset this unknown onset column is a new provision in this seizure uh, classification because whenever the seizure is unwitnessed the onset is unwitnessed but the rest of the seizure type is witnessed it can still be put under this group as unknown onset in this new classification system the onset word is very important and the clinical phenotype of the child in which the most predominant feature at the onset decides it is focal or generalized or unknown onset a child having a focal version to the one side of the eyes or the neck of the body So it defines that it is a focal onset seizure. If the child has generalized stiffness at the onset, or a generalized rhythmic movement of the body, it defines that it is a generalized onset seizure. And if the onset is not visualized, it is an unknown onset seizure. Previously, we used the term as partial seizure, but in this new classification, the partial word has been replaced with a focal onset seizure. The next subclassifier under the focal onset seizure is the awareness. Which has been used as a surrogate marker for the unconsciousness, which we you we which we were uh, tuned to use in the previous classification. So awareness means the child is aware of the activities of the self and the surrounding during that seizure activity. If the child has some kind of seizure during which he is totally aware and awake, that is known as a focal aware seizure. previously this term was known as simple partial seizure but in this current classification this is a focal aware seizure and uh, if the child has impaired awareness during that time the term is known as focal seizure with impaired awareness the so previously we used the term as complex complex partial seizure for this seizure time next in all the three groups is we have to divide into a motor onset seizure or a non motor onset seizure this awareness and on motor or non motor onset seizure both are an optional subclassifier suppose you do not have adequate information about all these features to you may just omit it you can just write it is a focal onset seizure or a generalized onset seizure next year is focal getting generalized to bilateral tonic onset seizure so we used to use the term as focal getting secondary generalized but this term is obsolete in this new classification and we have to use uniformly the word as focal to bilateral tonic onset seizure and it is used to differentiate between a generalized onset seizure so focal we know that the activation of brain is from one part of one cerebral hemisphere and it the activity spreads to the other hemisphere that is known as focal to bilateral tonic onset rather than that i mean uh, the other contrary thing in generalized onset seizure is that there is activation of both the cerebral hemispheres and the epileptic activity is generalized to differentiate between secondary generalized and generalized seizure this new word focal to bilateral tonic onset seizure has been coined and other category here is unclassified when you do not have adequate information to classify the seizure seizure terminology whenever there is a generalized stiffness of the body we say it is a tonic seizure whenever there is a jerking which is very rhythmic like a rhythm it goes on regularly it's a tonic seizure whenever that jerking is brief and it is arrhythmic it is a myotonic seizure when the child has a sudden loss of tone and it becomes limp during that seizure activity it is a tonic seizure 
epileptic spasm is a new word which was the, which is there in this classification system instead of infantile spasm we used to use previously and this means that there is a sudden flexion extension or mixed contraction of trunkal muscles automatism is a word which is used whenever there is a repetitive motor movement with impaired awareness during that ictus during that seizure event both a lip smacking movement or a pin rolling movement which keeps on happening so a repetitive motor movement with impaired awareness points the term as automatism whenever there is a thrashing seizure or a pedaling seizure a kind of a high amplitude movements are there in those uh, seizure type it is a hyperkinetic seizure and when during the seizure the child is suddenly stops whatever activity he was doing there is a sudden pause or freeze that is known as a big bear arrest this word is there in the new classification system this is expanded version here we can see that under the motor onset seizure there are seven types and under the non motor there are five types there are certain similarity between the focal and generalized onset seizure in terms of seizure type five seizure types are common like tonic tonic etonic myoclonic and epileptic spasm these are there both in focal and in generalized the red ones are the different ones in which automatisms it points towards the focal onset seizure if the child has a hyperkinetic seizure that points towards the focal onset seizure and here in generalized group we can see that it is a tonic tonic that is a mixture the child has both the tonic and the clonic component myoclonic tonic the child has both the myoclonic and tonic and the other one is myoclonic plus atonic so the child has myoclonic seizure as well as there is a fall with the myoclonic component that is a myoclonic atonic seizure this usually mixes seizure types as seen in epilepsy syndrome the other non motor onset seizures these are clearly there in the seizure type here uh, autonomic when the child has autonomic features and all with that behavior arrest are already discussed cognitive as previously we used the term discognitive seizure the child has problem of the language or thinking like a deja vu kind of phenomena or some kind of hallucination during that cerebral that is on the non motor onset and under cognitive and emotional when the child has a abnormal crying or a laughter that kind of emotional feature is there that is a non motor onset in focal onset sensory is a tingling sensation or a numbness kind of sensation during that ictus event is known as a sensory phenomena in generalized the non motor onset seizure are mainly the absence seizure where typical and atypical these are the other two categories the myoclonic and ileal myoclonia which are seen in specially epilepsy syndrome and special epilepsy syndrome and these are also new terms which are included in non motor onset of generalized seizure and here also in unknown onset seizure even if the seizure onset is unknown but rest of the seizure has been witnessed we can still classify as a motor or unknown or non motor under the unknown category so the change in terminology is unconscious has become impaired awareness simple partial has become the focal aware complex partial has become focal impaired awareness secondary generalized tonic clonic is not there it has become focal to bilateral tonic clonic discognitive or psychic word has been obsolete and it is now focal paired awareness with cognitive phenotype cognitive non motor onset so it provides a greater flexibility and transparency the correct use of term is very important for the seizure type this is a list of changes which is there in this new classification system partial has become focal awareness word has been used a uh, new classifier under focal seizure there is a change in terminology we do not use this cognitive we do not use psychic we use the term non motor onset under cognitive phenomena and there is a new focal or generalized seizure type has been added there are certain common seizure types between generalized and focal focal getting secondary generalized is not there we now use focal to bilateral tonic clonic seizure and seizure of unknown onset is a new group which has been introduced in this new classification system So thanks for watching